the morning of my surgery. Um, do you guys, this is, this was the bedroom that I first started filming in. I don't know if you guys remember any of the furniture. The walls have now changed. But I used to sit, there was like a chandelier, right? Like a fake chandelier on the wall, like a, one of those like stickers. I would sit right here. <laughs> for all the end, I'm kidding, but for real, oh my god. Um, you guys have probably seen that before, and you've probably seen this before. I don't know. OG studies. Okay. I am going in. And here is what I, I look like before. <laughs> I did it. You guys don't look going to shave before I'm too fat. Alright, let's go. Hope I don't forget anything. I can't put any lotion on my face or anything. And now I feel like dry. You know, not to wear like anything. I fucking just hope I didn't forget anything. I have my pills. Ming okay? Yeah, she's crying a little bit. Oh, Mingle. You're gonna stay with Dolly. You got she have Ming, stay with Dolly. I can't stay with you. I'm gonna be right back. I love you so much. You stay with Dolly and Grandpa. Okay, I'll be right back, Angel. You stay here. I'll see you soon, Mingle Ming. I didn't forget anything. Give her drugs, give her spanks. Yes. I oh, have, it's important, really. I brought these, even though you're right about them, you wearing spanks anyway, so I understand that loose thing. Do a bag to put it in? This, this is my bag. Do you, do me? This is my bag. All that gonna go there for you? Yes, this is my bag. And I have socks. My mom is still complaining about me bringing this bag. Oh, I'm cold. It's, I don't have a duffel bag. Like, this is what I have. It's like the biggest bag I own. When you're skinny, you get cold really quick. <laughs> you guys think I'm bad? I know, I like those. I know, I can't have it. There's no one in here. I'm the only one. What happened to Richard Simmons? Is he, like, still hiding? Or is he dot dead? He's missing. Good morning. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Just need some ID. Okay. Oh, and you didn't sign something. Okay. This is so embarrassing, really. Actually. Oh, shut up. You're not? No. How, why would I be embarrassed to be here? Who cares? Can you hold the ring for me? I'm going to wear this. What? There's nothing there. There's nothing ever in this one. Oh, my God. I used to get this. It used to be like, like that. At they least. probably just changed the cheap paper. They got cheap paper now. You know why? Got Driver's me. license. And break those spelling rules. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know what I did with my credit card. Okay, so I'm here for my post op. The light was solid red at the library. I don't know if you can anyway, see anything. I'm really sure. I've got my bandages everywhere. Just like my boobs hanging out. I'm here for I say a post op where I'm just gonna take my bandages off, but the pain is like so much worse. Not like worse, it just today I really feel like someone like ran me over. My mom's talking loud, so I'll wait till she goes, she's so annoying. <laughs> she's so obnoxious. I swear to god, she's one of the most obnoxious women in the world. I think that's where I get it from. <sighs> Okay. 
but literally, I don't know what I would have done without her. You guys, if you ever do anything like this, make sure that your husband is taking care of you. Make sure it's your mom, because just I don't feel like a man, a man would know how to do this. All right, I gotta go. She's talking too loud. Say Dolly. Here's my parents' talk. Dolly. Dolly. Oh my gosh, you guys. Post stop went well. Everything looks really, really, really good. Like, really good. Like, way better than I expected. I'm already, like, so much straighter. What else? What else do I look? What else is better? I'm just telling them, like, how the post. This is still swollen up here, though. And then oh, my body shape is so much better. Oh, the body shape. I'm more excited about that than that. Yeah, but I think that the boobs really helped me look different. Like, we always thought I that. I know, true, but I'm so really excited. About this. My mom's like really excited about the shape of my body because, like, my I always grew to the side, like, flanks, I told you guys, and now they're just like so. He shaped it so nicely. Anyway, she's making spada coffee that today. I'm really excited. But I'm so sore. I feel like. I don't know, it's like hard to even breathe, you know? I'm like walking like, oh, look at this. These are the, look at Tom. You guys know Tom, right? Um, Prince Charming Tom, I always call him that. He sent me these to, I can't sit. I know, he sent me these. How cute, little bunny slippers. He's so thoughtful, I can't even stand it. And then, oh, let me show you. And then my assistant, Judy, she sent me, let me get in the fridge, I'll show you. Me. And my mom and I already had one. <laughs> Get you in a better light. These are really pretty in person. Gosh, I my, my parents' house is like so crazy cluttered. Is it not cluttered? It's like it's like a shop. My house is like white, like like with nothing in it. And my hair, my parents' house is like something. Every everywhere we look, there's like something. Um, Sherry's berries, and they're so pretty with like pastel sparkles. I have like the nicest friends in my life, I swear. Thank you guys so much. It really means so much. Okay, this way. It's really hard to even like breathe. What's going on here? This guy is 70, 71. Who's the old dad though? The other old dad. That's his mom. He lives with his mom, he's 71 years old. And he has a mail order bride. Um, I don't know, he's been a user on his mom home life, his whole life, I guess. We're watching Dr. Phil. Um, this is literally like the second or third day. This is the second day I've been trying to film this video. And I, I don't even know I'm going with this anymore. I don't know why it's been so hard for me to like film this video. I, I guess I just am not good at informative videos. And so... I feel like I'm trying to take it there for you guys, but then I don't like how it's coming out or what I'm saying. So um, I don't want to disappoint you guys. I want you to be like, oh, I wish you would have talked about that, or I wish you would have done that. I don't, I don't know like what to say. I'm not, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about stuff. In the beginning of this video, I um, am gonna put in some like random clips from um, before and after my surgery. There wasn't that much because I honestly thought I'm like, cause I stayed at my mom, my parents' house, and they took my mom took care of me after this procedure. So thankful for that. Um, and I really thought I'd have like all this time to like film and like you know downtime, and I was just so. In, my, in so much pain and like everything was just about my the pain and like, and, but not really because I was in a lot of pain, but it was so worth it that it, it didn't bother me. Um, but anyway, I just didn't film as much as I thought I would. I literally thought I'd put up like videos when I, when I was at my parents' house, I brought up my computer, everything, and I didn't do anything. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna try and talk about what I did. I went to, um, I decided to go to a doctor who, uh, like a family friend of mine went to and I really loved her results. And um, I've been thinking about doing this for, I'm not gonna lie, for years. Just because um, my body is a very weird shape. I feel like it's, um, I just grow out to the sides more. I'll take off my jacket later and show you guys kind of like the silhouette I have now. Um, it's just, I'm very boxy 
and no matter how thin I got, I just would never ever look good in anything feminine. I could never wear a tight dress or a tight shirt because I had very a very small chest and a very wide torso and short torso, so it just wasn't a good overall look. I just didn't like it. Um, sorry, like I'm trying to scoot in because the lighting sucks and I'm in a weird position today. Um, so I've been meaning to do this forever. Also, I've also always been on the fence about my boobs. And because of my weight fluctuation, like my boobs have never been ugly. They're never the kind of, like that like flap down or like are weird like positioned or anything like that. They're just stupid. They were pointless boobs. Like I could have taken them or leave them. It didn't even matter if I have them, if I had them, because they didn't do anything for my body. But then I also knew because I have such a broad, wide chest, I oh did not want to have huge boobs. I didn't want to have, you know what I mean? So I just never knew if boobs would ever look good on me. Um, until I saw my mom's friend, who, or a family friend, who recently got her mommy makeover, and she got like really normal size, cute, just cute, nice boobs. And I was like, I, I could totally like have that, I could rock that. Like that is normal, it doesn't look like porn star tits. It doesn't look like, sorry, I'm like, you know, I'm like, it doesn't look like crazy to me. It just looks nice, okay? It looks just like normal. And to me, like whatever, when I say normal, I mean normal like for what I want myself to look like. Um, everyone has their own normal, which is cool. Okay, so, um, I don't see what I mean. Like I, I don't like these kind of videos because I feel like I owe you guys an explanation, but I don't know what to talk about. Um, all right, so where did I leave off? The paint, I don't remember where I left off. Okay, never been comfortable with my body. So I decided to do it. Um, I was never afraid of the pain. Um, and so I just, so I went to this doctor that she went to and literally the, that, that day that I went in there, I had another consultation set up for someone in Beverly Hills, but his prices were fucking ridiculous. Like, so, and he made his people, his like pa or customers or patients look very Kim K like, and I don't want to look like that. I don't want that exaggerated fake ass. Like that is so obvious, obvious and ridic like ridiculous. Like, I mean, if you want to do it fine, but I, that's not like my vibe. Like. I don't want that. I just wanted to look like a better shape. Um, so when I went to this guy, I heard his prices and they were like very, they were, I feel they were really fair. I went to Dr. Tui in Newport Beach and I really, really liked him. This is obviously not an ad at all, like nothing. Like I don't think they know I'm on YouTube. Um, so anyway, I signed up that day. I just felt really comfortable with him. I mean, whatever, even if I didn't feel comfortable with him, I knew what he could produce because I saw my mom's friend and I thought she looked fucking amazing. Um, and I was like, what's the earliest date? Let's do this. So a week later I did it. And, um, the, po I, I mean, seriously guys, I don't know why, like, I don't like doing these kind of videos. Like that's why I don't like doing like bag reviews and shit because like, if you want to do it, just fucking do it. Like if you, if this, I should have done this five years ago. I should have done this five years ago. Like at, I'm 32 now. I should have done it like five years ago at, you know, yeah. Um, but like. It don't, I don't know, like, don't be, still be scared if you're, like, healthy enough and if you have the money or if you don't have the money, save up for it if you are in that position too. Um, it's fucking worth it, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go and get something to show you guys, um, what I look, or what I, something that I bought that I'm, like, shocked about. Okay, let me just, I'm, I think you'll be able to, like, see this, but, um, okay, um, I bought this. Okay, I bought this little slinky outfit. And it's like this little top, it's from Victoria's Secret. This little top with these little shorts, okay? And the shorts would have been fine on me, but I would have had to like previously lift them up to like my belly button and then have the top go like that to go around my disgusting like flanks, okay? It, and it never looked right. Now he, ha and I didn't have a waist either before. Now he has given me a fucking waist. I have a shape now and I don't have any bulges. I don't, I'm not pulling and tucking and like, you know what I mean? Like hiding and things like that. It's just like I have a normal body shape. Um, what I do want to say though about liposuction, um, and I know you guys are like, some people out there are like saying like, oh, you're talking shit on Trisha. Like, not that I have any influence in like anything. Like, I'm, I have like barely 150,000 followers or something. I am not talking shit on Trisha. I actually really fucking like Trisha Paytas. Like, I think that she's a fucking go-getter and she's smart as shit. And 
I, what, I, I don't know, like last time I was saying like drama about it, it's like shut up, like I can't even like say an opinion, like I'm not saying she looks bad, I'm saying she looks better than before, like I feel like her lipo looks better than, she looks better now than she did before, but I think that it works better, lipo looks, works better on someone who, it wasn't as thick as she was previously. That's my opinion. It's not like I'm not saying she looks bad. Like this is not fucking shade or hate. Like on this channel, I don't do shade. I don't do hate. Like I'm not talking about anyone in particular. So let's just cut the shit. It's so fucking annoying. Like that makes me literally like not want to do videos because I can't even say something because people automatically assume I'm talking about shit on someone. And I'm fucking not. Like I don't do that. Um. Anyway, let's get back on track. Um. Trisha Paytas. Whatever. She looks way better than before. But I feel like. For me, it worked better because I I wasn't using it as like a weight loss solution. Like a, a liposuction doesn't make you lose weight. I think it more just like does take away some weight, but it's like five pounds max, five five to eight or something max of like fat. But you're still like wearing your same size clothes. It's just reshapes you. It's if if you have a fucked up like shape. If you were born like with not a waist like. I wasn't fucked up. I didn't have a fucked up shape. I just wasn't as... I didn't have a waist and... You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys know from like my pictures. Like a lot of people like shit talk me and stuff. Whatever. Like the problems that I had. They're like pretty much fixed now. Um, and before like this kind of top. Like this slinky top. Because I was flat. More of not flat. Like just useless tits. And wide. It just didn't look like I could never wear this before and now I look so cute in it I mean, I don't look like a fucking model, but I look like a normal girl I look like a regular girl like when you think like what like a girl would look like in this That's what I feel like I look like now um, One thing though and actually I know because I have gained weight um, Over like the past year and a half or whatever I think my legs are a little bit thicker than before so now for once in my life I feel like my legs are thick thicker than like my torso. Usually I have like skinny legs and like a, like a fat stomach I say. But like now it's opposite. I don't know, it's so weird. So um, I actually like, I really feel like, well I won't be able to like work out or anything for six weeks, maybe like five weeks now. But I really am motivated I think to like to be better because I feel like I've been, I woke up and I've been given this gift that I've never had in my entire life. I've never had like this normal, let's say, I don't, I don't like that word, I think it's stupid, but normal for me, body, um, that I'm just very grateful for, and I'm just like, damn, like, okay, so let me take off my shirt, oh yeah, let me talk about my boobs, I got 400 cc's saline, uh, silicone, 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 sorry, silicone, and no, I had no drains, I don't know why, either. I, I thought I was gonna have drains too, like, I've seen people come out of surgery and they have drains, like, I had no drains, nothing, it's just a little incision underneath the boob, and they're still very, very swollen right now, like, very swollen. These are going to totally go down. This is my Art Deco Crystal Tear with a vintage, um, vintage Crystal Flawless. And this is my Noose Lariat. And this is only available to order via email. So if you want this, and it goes really long too, I love it. It's really, really shiny. You can email me. You guys know you can email me to order anything though. So you can just do like your order all in one to save on ship too. It's totally cool with me. But, and my jewelry, I feel like it looks better on me now. People are like, Alex, you're not going to be able to wear your jewelry the same way you did before. Like, things are going to look different. Well, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm rocking it the same way. It, like, looks, actually, it looks better. <laughs> so, okay. But, I mean, you guys can fucking tell. Like, it's a huge difference. I'm still really bloated. I'm still, I don't know if you can tell. I'm still really bloated. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, in my vagina, on my the pubis area is very bloated because I feel like I think the direct like it the your corset you have to wear like a compression garment after, like every day all the time which I do, um, pushes all the fluids down. So I'm still bloated there. I'm still bloated. I'm I'm very numb everywhere. I mean anyway, the process the pain has been more than I thought it was it 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 but it's like pain that. Like, no pain, no gain, right? Like, I haven't, like, been upset one time or cried or anything because, like, this was a... I chose to do this, and I know that the results are going to be amazing, so I'm more, like, happy crying. I'm like, yeah, this fucking hurts so bad, but, like, what did I expect, you know? Um, time or cried or anything because, like, this was a... I chose to do this, and I know that the results are going to be amazing, so I'm more, like, happy crying. I'm like, yeah, this fucking hurts so bad, but, like, what did I expect, you know? Um... So let me show you guys from the side, like my boobs from the side. Let's see. Good shape, right? 
I don't feel like I went too overboard at all. I think we made a, I made a good decision. I when we went I, I was trying to decide between 375 and 400, and I decided on 400 because um, my nose looks bad. I want to put my concealer on um, because. I'd rather have got a little bit bigger and they're a little bit smaller. I know, like, I, but I don't know. So I kind of, like, I told him before I went into surgery, I haven't, like, because we talked about the size one more time. I said, um, I'd rather you just, like, go in there and decide what you think looks best. And he did, which I really appreciated. I think I think that's what happened. I don't remember. Um, my nose looks good here now. Um, so that's it. I'm like not all about like I, I you guys my I don't know how to dress now like I don't know how to fucking dress I can't wear any of my big clothes anymore like I don't have the big tops they like I can't wear them because I have like a small waist smaller waist now and like boobs and I've never had that before so I need to like find myself I I, I feel like I've been dressing I'm dressing like I have tight yoga pants on and a tight tucked in tank top and like a little jacket over I feel very like, my mom would dress like this. You know what I mean? Because my mom has big boobs and a small waist and, like, a bigger butt. She's, like, a different proportion. So she's like, oh, my gosh, now you're going to be dressing like me. Thank God for once. Like, I like what you're wearing. But um, I, I don't like the style. I'm, like, trying to figure out what I can wear. Like, I don't want to dress like my mom. I, I want to dress like me, but I don't know what me is anymore. Like, this is a... I'm, like, going... This is a transformation. Like, for me, this is a fucking transformation. Um... I don't know. It's been a lot of fun. I really like it. I was. <laughs> I also noticed that Trisha on her um, video. I watched her video, like her her lipo videos. I was like kind of like gearing myself for, up for myself up for it, like what I should expect. And she said that she was she was like I'm not gonna tell anyone to do this because blah, blah, blah. I, maybe it's like a legal thing. But I I'm not taking you guys to get lipo. You know what I mean? But if you can do this and you don't like something about your body and you are like not adverse to plastic surgery, I know some people don't like plastic surgery or whatever, then you should do it. You should not take another day to wait. You should do it. Another point of advice is you should have a mom or like a, a very nurturing person take care of you afterwards, not like a husband. I didn't, I decided to stay at my parents' house because I didn't want to put th put Nick through that. Like I, he can't, he can hardly take care of a dog. You know what I mean? Like he wouldn't be able to take care of me. You, you I, I was draining, like leaking from my lipo holes uh, for like, you know, a day or two days, like fluid and blood. So I constantly have to changing, like my clothes were soaked, constantly having to wash clothes, change bed, bed pads. I mean, it's like invasive, you know what I mean? So you need someone there who can take care of you, can like get you something to eat, who can like be there to open your pill bottles for you. Like it's, you can't do anything. Like you can't, you really can't. And I'm, I don't feel like I'm that big of a wuss. Like I do, I think I'm a little bit less tolerable to pain than like, my mom is a lot more tolerant to pain than I am. So, um, like we're actually, we're actually not sure if it's very painful because my mom thinks I'm a wuss. So I'm not sure. <laughs> but for me, it was painful for other people. Like you guys, I had a friend in college who, um, I like when this stays straight. Um, a friend in college who had her boobs done. And then that night we went to a club. I, I don't know how the fuck she did that. Like how the fuck did she do that? And I'm like, like I remember I was like, you just got your boobs done. We're going out tonight. She's like, yeah, we're going out tonight. So, um, I don't know. I guess people are I don't know if she got a different kind of surge. I have no idea what she did, but um, yeah, so that's my experience. Like, was this good? I don't know, is what you guys expected. I feel like I, it's not what you, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, oh, let's talk about where I did my lipo. I did my lipo all over my torso. Um, so I did flanks, stomach. Um, he gave me a waist. I think my belly button's different too, because I think he went through my belly button, so he had to untie it and make a new belly button. My belly button looks different. Um, it just looks like a flatter person's stomach belly button rather than like a deep belly button. Belly button, like a fat fatties have like a deep belly button. That's what I had. I don't know. I just feel like I have a fat person belly button. Also, I was like fatter. Um, and then um, he also did a little bit on the top of my butt. He said it would make my butt look more fem feminine if he did like the top of my butt a little bit. I guess I had like a pooch there. I don't fucking. I'm a fucking mess. I am. A, I was a fucking mess. Um, and then not my bra strap. I didn't have a big. I don't have like a lot of fat here, but right below the bra strap, there's like a roll down here. He did a little bit of that. It wasn't like significant. And then um, I'm, I did cool sculpting like two years ago and then I gained weight after cool sculpting and I ended up getting a pooch right on my hip. 
so he got that he took that away as well to shape me out I just have a totally different shape now I'm a lot more straight with the waist a lot more like less bumpy like less like shit going on you know it's just more like a normal person um yeah so I think that's like kind of what I wanted to say I don't know I feel like my hair looks fucking fucking weird today um yeah sorry I don't know I just was like not my hair looks fucking weird I like don't know how to style my short hair. I need to learn. Um, I think that's it, guys. Like, I don't know what else to say. I'm like moving because I'm like squatted and like talking to you because I'm in a weird angle. But I don't know. I was really planning on doing so many videos and then I didn't do any, and so I feel stupid. But um, I feel I feel like I wasted a lot of time. I haven't put a video. But I just haven't like, like I told you. I've been, I've been trying to do this video now for three days and I just don't know what to say or things. I don't want to leave anything out. Um, if I do, if I can recommend, one thing is I was on Norco and I was on it for like four or five days. I didn't take it more up a lot after that and it really constipated me. I'm only now getting out of the, like the severe constipation. Like I was constipated for, I think I, I didn't go to the bathroom for like four or five, four days. It was like, I was getting like an anxiety from it. It was like, what the fuck? Like it was so weird. Um, so maybe ask for like a like a stool softener or something with it because nothing was working. Like Philips pills weren't working. Like nothing worked. Um, and I I mean, I mean I didn't like wasn't trying that hard. Like I was just like waiting for the whole thing to pass. But that's fine now. I mean it's been a while. So um, but if just that's the only really advice that I can like think of. Um, that and like still it's hard to sleep. Like imagine like I have bruises all over my body still from the lipo and I have the boobs. So it's still hard to sleep. Like I haven't had a good night's sleep, and since I've had my video, uh, since I've had my surgery, but I don't care. Like whatever. Like all this fucking bullshit is so worth it in the end. Like I, I'm so excited, you guys, to just like look better. Seriously. Um, but yeah, I feel like even at my, even when I was this my skinniest or my light, yes, my smallest, my body shape was still difficult, and so even I. I, I don't feel like I went in to fix a weight problem necessarily. I went in to fix my shape because even if I had this shape slightly bigger, I would probably still be more comfortable. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys out there, girls, are blessed with good curves. Like you have boobs, you have a waist. So you know what I mean? Like you you don't like yeah, you might be thick, but it looks good. Like for me, I looked when I was thick, it didn't come it, it wasn't a womanly shape. So that's what I think I got out of this more than a weight loss solution, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you like this, and I hope I don't know. I feel like I've I've been putting this off because I don't didn't really know exactly what to say. So I hope that this is what we want. We you wanted. Anyway, hope everyone has a great week ahead and um, so much going on. We're just constantly. I've been out of the office. I went in the office two days um, this week, but. We are so busy with everything. Lots of updates coming up. You guys know that HRH is totally changing. Everything is still, like, I haven't been, like, talking about it much because I've been doing videos, but um, next week it's all really starting to happen. So we're right on track. And we, well, I will, you guys will be obviously, like, you will know about everything. All right, well, I'm just going to go be skinny now. <laughs>